Hi everybody, I'm Coach Sean, and this is Zach, and we are from CBS Bright Stars. Today we're going to be going over uh, some bocce drills. We're going to do a warm up, and then we're going to learn some bocce drills, and then a cool down. Bocce started in ancient Rome, and it was developed into what we have today by the Italians. And it's a po very popular sport in Italy. Bocce is like hockey in Canada. Okay, first we're going to start off with some locking in place. Nice and high knees, nice and slow. Important to get the blood flowing. Get nice and loose. So we're going to start off with a little bit of walking. We're going to do some jogging. Get us flowing. Get our blood flowing and our heart rate up a little bit, and then we're going to go into some stretching. Nice and high knees. Just as fast as you're able to go. You don't have to try to keep up. Everybody's doing good. Remember to look up while you're doing it. That keeps your air, airways open. <clears throat> and still. Okay, next we're going to go into some light jogging. Okay, begin. Knees up a little. Okay, that's good. Nice and slow. Everybody feeling good? And still. Okay, now we're going to start off with stretching up top. So we're going to first begin with our arms. Arm it straight out, hand on the elbow, and push your right arm, keeping your, keeping your arm straight. Okay, change to the left arm. Out nice and straight. Grab the elbow and pull it. You should feel this in your shoulders. And still. Okay, right arm behind your head. And push down on your elbow. Hey, Libby. And her family dog is here watching Zach. So he's talking to her. Change to the left arm. Up, push down on the elbow. And down. Shake it out. Okay, hands on your hips. And we're going to turn. Hold it. And back to the front, slowly turn to the right. Back to the front, and over to the left. And one more time, back to the right. And back to the front. Okay, spread your feet about shoulder width apart and hang down as far as you can. Keep your knees straight, just hang down. 
Bend your knees and roll up. And one more time, back down. Should be able to go a bit further. Look at her. And slowly bend your knees and come back up. All right, next. Spread your legs further apart. Keep your left leg straight. Lean to the right. Stretching is very important. You should stretch every day. When you get out of bed in the morning, take a couple of minutes and do a stretch, and that loosens you up for whatever activities you're going to have that day. Even if you're just going to be around the house, it keeps you from stiffening up. Back over to the right. You should hold a stretch for at least 10 seconds. Back one more time to the left. And back up. Okay. Next, we're going to stretch out our calves. You can do this a couple of ways. But the easiest way to do it is just put your foot forward and pull up on your toe. Keep the leg straight. You should feel it in the back of your calf muscle. Don't want to hold it too long. And you don't want to pull up too, too far because you could overstretch your calf. Change to the left. Hold it for 10 seconds and change. Right foot out again. You should be like trying to pull up with your toes. Change again. Okay, next we're going to do our ankles. Take your right foot, put your toe on the floor, and just turn your foot. Change direction, same foot, just go the opposite way. And still, left foot. Change direction. And still. Okay, everybody get a drink of water, and when we come back, we're going to start with some bocce drills. Okay, everybody, we're back. Now we're going to carry on and, and learn some uh, bocce drills. The very first thing that we're going to cover is the stance. Stance is very important for you to be successful when you deli aim, deliver, and roll your ball. So it's very important that you have your stance right. I understand that there's people that do... A underhand throw between the legs. Some people do a roll and some people roll the ball. It's very important for all of these to make sure that you're in the proper stance. So we'll start off for a right-handed thrower. You want your left hand, your left foot forward. You don't want it too far. You want it being comfortable, but the majority of your weight wants to be on your left foot, like this. And when you and that's basically your stance. You want to be comfortable. Some people like a high stance. Some people get right down really low. This is personal preference. So I want everybody just to uh, follow along and now practice their stance and they're going to do it with Zachary. So Zachary's going to do his stance. Everybody else follow along with Zach. Okay, Zach. Take stance as if you're throwing the ball. That's it. Don't throw the ball. Okay? And that's all there is to the stance. So everybody, we're going to practice this two or three times. You don't even need a ball. You don't need to roll. You just go down into what's comfortable for you. Okay, Zach, take up the stance. Get in your stance as if you're going to throw. You don't need the ball. And back up. Okay, back down. And up. So Zach's going to turn this way. Turn towards the wall. And again, down in your stance. Okay, and up. Now, 
Now for left handed thrower, it's just to reverse with your legs. You want your right foot forward and down. Okay, so for left handed, your right foot is forward. And once again, low or high depends on you. Okay. Now next thing we're going to move on to is aiming. When you get in your stance, you want to be in line with your target. In bocce, the target is called the polina. It's a smaller ball that you roll at. Okay, for now we're not going to get into the rolling. Well, this will be a few minutes later. But for aiming, just pick a spot anywhere on the wall or on the floor and you want to aim at. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just pick a spot on the wall over here and I'm going to line myself up. So I'm just going to move so that my right shoulder is in line with my target. And you just want to concentrate on that point. You don't need to look down. You don't need to look back at your arm or the ball. You just want to focus on that point that you're aiming at. And that's it for the aiming portion. So now I want you to just get into your stance. Concentrate on a point. Just get down and... Go through the motion of swinging your arm and focusing on your hand, then going forward and pointing at what you're looking at for your point of aim. So we'll get Zach to do it now. Okay, look over this way, Zach. Get in your stance. Okay, and you look out here at what you're aiming at. And you keep that, you keep looking the whole time. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get into the actual aim and throw. But we're not going to throw anything yet. We're just going to go through it so that when we have our follow through, your arm is pointing at your target. Your hand is pointing at your target. So you'll pick your point on the wall or on the floor. You're, you're watching it. You can as if you're throwing a ball, swing it back forward and your fingers should be pointing at your target. Okay, so Zach, I want you to get in your throwing stance. Facing this, yeah, facing forward. And boom, forward. Now Zach, Zach played on Team Newfoundland Bocce Team last summer games. So it's really hard for him to slow things down because he does a complete follow through. But when you do your complete follow through, whether it's up here or it's down there, it still should be pointing in line with your target. Okay, so Zach, I want you to do it again, this time, nice and slow. Nice and slow. And his fingers keeps pointing forward towards the target after each and every throw. Okay, so now we're going to get into the actual throwing technique. Okay, Zach, go forward and pick up your bocce ball. Okay, you don't need bocce ball, you don't even need a ball. Everybody's got socks. You can just roll it up into a ball and use it for practice. Bocce is normally played on a 60 foot court. You can do it anywhere. We're in our rec room, my Toronto Maple Leafs man cave. I know everybody loves it, especially Ken. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get into ball, the holding the ball and the delivery of the ball. Okay, you hold the ball, you don't want a death grip. You want a nice grip, just enough, enough firmness so that you're actually controlling it. Okay, that's the first thing. So, nice little grip, not firm, nice and soft. Fingertips should be together and not spread out. Your hand needs to be controlling the ball. Whether it's a large ball or a smaller ball, your fingers should be together. It'll give you more control and more accuracy when you aim. Okay, so now we're gonna get that grip. Obviously, the next thing that we're gonna do is get into the, your actual delivery of the ball. There's a couple of things that are very important. I'll show you those. You wanna bring your hand back, your arm back slowly, keeping your arm straight, just like so. You don't want a bend in your arm. It's a nice, easy throw and straight arm. You don't need to bend it. If you bend your arm, you'll have less control 
of where the ball is going and the ball will pop, uh, basically will pop up in the air and once it pops up in the air you have no the ball is not going to keep on its original path so you pick your target arm back nice and straight and then forward okay so now we're going to practice it we're not going to release the ball we're just going to go through the motion bring your arm back slowly forward but not do not throw your ball okay zach do a front on and remember don't throw the ball just go forward with it and you notice zach on his go sideways down so you can see it better okay and straight coming back and straight going forward all right so that's that's the stance with the actual delivery method so now what we're going to actually do is deliver the bocce ball now when you deliver the ball you want to ensure that your ball is released forward of your front leg if you release it back and it hits the ground it's going to be a foul and the ball will not count because it's bouncing inside the line because your front foot it's going to be up to your line for the, for, the, uh, del for your delivery. So if you release it back here, it's going to bounce back here, and that's a dead ball. So it will not count. So ensure your ball is forward. So all it is, pick your point, aim, arm back, roll, follow through, and point. Okay? Now, so Zach, we're going to do it nice and slow, okay? Stance, arm back, forward release and point your hand at the target all right each of us drop the ball forward okay so we're going to practice that a couple of times now okay Zach go forward and get our bocce socks okay Zach's going to do it a few times and I'm going to be his ball retriever okay go ahead nice and easy and straight and a nice roll. Okay, pretend you're going to throw uh, make, as if you're going to throw it further. Is that? Okay. Good. Not a couple of practices. Okay. One more that way, Zach. And turn this way. One more. And good. Okay, we're going to stop for a few seconds, have a water back, water break, and then come back and do uh, some more practice of all the drills together and explaining some of the strategy. Hi right, everyone, we're back. Okay, now we're going to practice the drills all combined again. Okay, and we're going. Well, Zach is going. To, Zach is going to go through stance, delivery, aim, and roll. And while he's while he's practicing. I'm going to be explaining some of the strategy behind the game of bocce because you're not just getting up and rolling a ball like in bowling you actually got to plan your moves something like something like in curling so it's a combination of basically bowling and curling but instead of in a bowling lane or on a rink it's done in a not in a gymnasium or outside okay Zach you can carry on and practice nice and slow okay bocce it can be played as a team sport of four players, a team of two, or individually. So regardless of whatever way you're playing, you have to uh, you have to strategize. The target ball of Polina is rolled by the team that scores or wins the coin toss for the first end. Then for the second or the second end, whoever wins points in the first end will deliver to Polina. Everybody thinks it's just a matter of getting up and throwing the ball at the Polina. This is somewhat correct, but there's times that you don't necessarily just want to uh, to throw the ball directly at the Polina. You want to block the other team from getting at the Polina. So it's very it's strategic and it takes time to fully plan your game and understand it but it comes with practice 
when, keep practicing Zach, when we first began in CBS with bocce, we played all team, and basically the players got up and they had fun. Well, over the years, this last six years that I've been coaching bocce for CBS, we've taken it a bit further and teaching the players how to strategize and what they should be doing and thinking ahead so that if, if they're playing in team focus, in a team sport, team setting, everybody has to be thinking the same thing. So you have your team captains, and they'll be the person that'll help out the thrower each time that they're going up to throw. But this only works in team play. If you're playing individual, everybody has to be able to think about the game and what they're going to do next. You always got to ensure that you got a straight path straight line to where you're throwing. So if you've got a ball from the other team or your team blocking your path that you want to throw on, you have to move left or right. Sometimes you may have to go forward or backwards if the ball is close or further away. If it's further, you might want to move right up to the line. And if it's close and you're a strong thrower, you might want to move right to the back of the 10-foot box. And this way here, It'll help you be more successful in, in getting your ball on your target. And like I said, the target is usually the polina, but sometimes it may not be. You might want to stop in front of the polina so that another player can't get at your own ball behind it. All your coaches that have coached bocce are very good and they know the game. So when they're coaching you, listen to them. But not only listen to them, Practice what they are telling you to do. If you think that you know something is better to do, suggest it to your coach. Suggest to your coach that, okay, I think we can probably do this. Your coach will have a look at it and say yes or no. Okay? Whatever you do, it's you and your coach's decision. Once that you get to the level that you're able to play, Individual, there's no coaching. Individual sport, there is absolutely no coaching at Canada Games. So you have to know the game. You have to be able to strategize. Another thing is, when you're playing a different team, if you know that other team can't throw long balls very well or very accurate, you want to put the polina far away from you. If you know that they can't throw a short ball very good, you might want to throw it closer to the center line. All right? But just remember, these things are only for practice. Never do it when you're playing CBS. All right? We're just joking. We want everybody to be good bocce players because Newfoundland is going to take over the bocce at, at Special Olympics. All right, now we're going to carry on with our cool down. So we're going to start with a slow walk, nice and slow. Okay, just want to get our muscles to relax now. Now in summertime, or when the weather gets nice and you want to go outside and try some of these drills, you don't have to have bocce balls. You can use a softball, a baseball, a tennis ball, any type of ball. And practice at different distances, throwing to 30 feet, 40 feet, and 50 feet. You can just put a little mark on the ground for something to aim at and just practice. It'll only be too easy to switch over then to a bocce ball. It's just adjusting your throw for the weight. But all the principles are the exact same. And still. Okay. Start next. Right foot forward. Go up. And notice now we're going to do our cool down in the reverse order. All right, we're going to start with our start at the at our feet, our calves, and work her all the way up. Switch to your left foot. Back to your right. Zach, you keep facing that way. Right toe up, Zach. Right. Very, your cool down 
just as important as your warm-up. The warm-up helps you stop getting injuries while you're training. The cool down prevents you, switch, prevents you from cramping up afterwards. You don't want to be walking around all day with sore legs or sore arms. Okay, and now we're going to go down and to the right. The right tack. You do it that way and I'll do it front tack. Okay, down to the right. Keep the left leg straight. Okay. And switch. And switch. Switch. Down nice and low, Zach. Come on, nice and low. And up. Okay, face forward. And now we're going to go all the way down. As far as you can, hold it, keep your back straight. Bend your knees and up. Back down. Hold it. And bend your knees and roll it up. Okay. Now to the right. Hmm. Twist. Hmm. Try to keep your feet po pointing forward. Back to the center. Left. Okay. Next, right arm, right straight out, push on your elbow. Straight, straight out, left arm. Shake it out, right arm behind the head. Change it. And down. Good. Okay. What we've done is bocce. Most clubs have it. Almost all clubs now, I think, have it. Newfoundland, whether it be inside or outside. Sorry, Newfoundland and Labrador. Uh, it's a fun sport. It gets you thinking. Very social, all right? And any time that any athlete of any ability can play bocce. We've had athletes as young as eight years old come to our club to play bocce, and it took them no time to catch on, and everybody seems to love it. So, as, uh, like I said, you don't need to have a bocce court, you don't need bocce balls. Inside, you can use a foam ball, a sock to practice, and in the spring, when it gets nicer outside, you can go ahead and practice on grass, and use a softball, a baseball, tennis ball, any type of ball that you, got, that you have, you can use it and practice. Try to practice 30 feet to 60 feet range, or 50 feet range, all right? I hope everybody learned, uh, learned uh, some good things about bocce and you got some good points to be able to improve your game. Have a good night.